After four years, the special tribunal for Lebanon opens in The Hague. The court's registrar asked for a moment of silence to commemorate Rafik al-Hariri and the others killed in the bombing. Things could remain quiet here for some time. No charges have been brought against anyone. But for many young Lebanese gathering at Hariri's shrine on Sunday, the sooner trials can get underway, the better. It's a murder and everybody deserves to... We, we, we have to know. Actually, I want to know. I deserve to know. It's, it's not... Uh... It's not fair what's happened in Lebanon. Because it is not being implemented here in Lebanon, I believe that the tribunal will take its, will take its path into justified laws and implementing in a fair, fair manner. The blast in downtown Beirut on February the 14th, 2005, took out a man who symbolized opposition to Syria's involvement in Lebanon. After huge street protests on March the 14th, which spawned a political movement, Damascus did withdraw its troops. But it's always denied involvement in Hariri's murder. The first two reports by the United Nations Investigation Commission did point the finger at elements in the Syrian and Lebanese intelligence services. Now it's far from clear who'll be indicted. Still, Hariri's son Saad, now a key opposition figure, says Sunday marks a victory. We fought for this tribunal for over four years, so it is impossible for us to oppose it, whether we agree with the results or not. The actual courtroom in the Netherlands won't be ready until at least November. Between now and then, Lebanon will be asking itself who will be appearing before the judges and when. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.